guys, what's up? Welcome back to another week, I believe. Yes, yes. This is our last week in March. I hope you had a great March and are ready for April because you know April showers bring May flowers. Well, it should. I mean, I live in Los Angeles. It doesn't really rain like it did when I lived on the East Coast. But as you can tell from the title, I have some big news and I can't wait to tell you guys all about it, how I got it, what's next. We'll, we'll get to that. If you guys are ready, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button and hit the bell to get notified anytime I post. Then let's get to it. Just as a quick recap, if you are new here, I've been doing YouTube for about nine months. And within that time, I've grown to 430 subscribers, and this is actually my 40th YouTube video. I've learned a lot, and I now realize that I have a huge passion for creating content. Every week, I promote the heck out of my videos on all different platforms, such as Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, and LinkedIn. LinkedIn is an American business and employment-oriented online service that operates via websites and mobile apps. It's mainly used for professional networking and allows job seekers to post their skills and employers to post their jobs. A great collective site for anyone looking for work or to hire. My main goal is to be a professional actress, but I really enjoy creating content as well. The dream is for my survival job to be creating content or content management. About three weeks ago, I received a message from a company looking for a YouTube content quality analysis. Just as a warning for those of you who haven't signed up for LinkedIn yet, with any website or online platform, there are scammers who are just kind of looking to get information from you. So you have to do your research and see whether or not the company in question or the job in question is real and actually able to hire you. So be sure and look them up to see if everything is real. So I did my homework and I found out about the company that was messaging me. The name of the company is Zephyr, Z-E-F-R. Zephyr is selected as a brand safety reporting partner by YouTube but they do much more than that. This is just kind of their claim to fame. After looking into the company, I felt drawn and excited about the possibility for working for a company that works with YouTube. I mean, this is my dream. So I messaged the person back and said I was very interested in the position, but what exactly is a YouTube content quality analysis? My job would be to watch videos of certain creators and make sure they're not using swear words or anything inappropriate in their videos. And I also make sure that the ads that are playing correlate to the video that is being watched. So if I'm watching a video on sports, the ads that should correlate to the video should be along the lines of where to buy golf clubs, what streaming services offer live sports, or an ad for a popular new video game. So I'm gonna get paid to watch YouTube videos. Okay, great. I had my first interview about two weeks ago and then I had my second interview this past Tuesday. I have never done a better interview than I did on that Tuesday. I was honest about my passion for creating content and how I'm looking for a job just like this. 30 minutes after my interview, they called me and told me I was hired. They said they were so impressed with my desire to do this job, they wanted to snatch me up before I was gone. And let me tell you, the feeling of being wanted by a company like this, it's amazing. I am so humbled. They sent me the contract right after the phone call telling me I was hired and I signed it later that day. This is crazy. I'm getting something I've always wanted. Getting a job so perfect and so right for me, I have to be a little honest with you, I believe I manifested this job. Now, I don't know if you completely are into manifesting or you know, saying what you want to the universe, but I did. I've been telling my mother for about the past five months that I want a job that deals with social media, I can pick and choose my hours, and I make a certain amount. And I got exactly that. And I didn't even apply for the job, they found me. So I'm just telling you friends, if you want something, speak it into the universe and be specific. Also, I did put in some work. It wasn't just me saying words and hoping that things would just change without me doing my fair share. As I said, I've been doing YouTube for nine months and I've put in a lot of work in those nine months. And in doing that, it's opened some doors to some new awesome opportunities. And again, I'm so thankful. Because of COVID, everyone is working from home. So they're sending me my own work laptop and anything else I may need to get the job done. I am so excited to have a job that I'm passionate about, friends. You have no idea. My first day is April 12th. They wanted me to start earlier, but I am a good person and I don't ever wanna burn bridges and I wanna leave any job that I have on good terms in case I ever would like to come back or need to come back. So I'm finishing out my two weeks at my current job and then I'm going home this upcoming week to meet my sweet niece and then I will come back to LA and start on the 12th. I 
will keep you posted on my journey at my new job. And with this company, there are endless possibilities for promotions and different kinds of social media work. So I'm really, really excited. I just have to put in the work and that's nothing I'm not used to doing. If you have any questions about promoting yourself, LinkedIn, or my new job, comment down below and I will do my best to answer them. And again, guys, if you want something, work for it and don't stop because you never ever know what's right around the corner. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell to get notified anytime I post. And I'll see you guys here next week. As always, keep it positive. Let me just say why I say keep it positive at the end of every video. I think being positive is a choice. My mother always told me that growing up, you know, it's hard, but life is so much better when you choose to be positive. Always see the glass half full. It's much better to just choose to be happy even in the midst of hard times or good times. I don't know. It's my personal philosophy, so I'm gonna say it at the end of every video. All right, guys, have a great week. I will see you here next time. Bye.